Chief Rabbi Lord Sachs, Chief Rabbi Elect, Rabbi Mervis, Dayanim, Rabbanim, President of the United Synagogue, President of the Board of Deputies, Madrechim and Chanichim of Bnei Akiva, Chaverim. Yom HaZikaron. For one day, we join with those for whom remembrance doesn't begin with the sounding of a siren, doesn't end with the raising of a flag, for those for whom every day is Yom HaZikaron. We embrace them, we mourn with them, we can never stand in their place, but for one day we walk in silence besides them. It's a long walk, as long as Jewish history. Bechol dor vador, we say on Seder night, on dimalenu lechalotenu. In every generation, there are those who try to destroy us. And so it seems. From the first Yom Ha'atzmaut in 1948, when the fledgling state of Israel was attacked, to this, 61st year, to this 65th year, when residents in the south of Israel are still subject to rocket and missile attacks from Gaza. Bechol do vador. 40 years since the Yom Kippur War, 10 years since the passing of Ambassador Shlomo Algov, shot here in London, and the death of Chaver Bnei Akiva, Yoni Jesna. Bechol do vador. And yet we continue, Bahagadosh Baruch Hu, Matzileno Miyadam. Yes, he saves us, Avaloid Kulam. Not everyone. So on this one day we walk together, and somehow, somewhere, with us walk the 23,000 and 85 sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, everyone a universe. And as we walk, before each of us rise the faces that give meaning to this day. The faces rise before us and with them the questions that we were never able to ask. What would you have said about the Arab Spring? or the elections, about Haredi conscription, or social justice, about Khatufim, or Shomrei Hasat, about how the children have grown. All these questions they will never answer. But there is one question that they ask of us. Those who died in battle, on the home front, in training exercises and terrorist attacks, who fell every one for what they believed in, they ask us, not in a harsh way, but in a soft, gentle way, what is it that we are prepared to stand up for? For what would we put ourselves on the line? For me, one of the first faces that rises on Yom HaZikaron is of a very dear friend of my youth, an amazing young man, Alex Singer. Alex grew up in the United States and studied here at LSE. After college, he made Aliyah, he joined the paratroopers as a lone soldier and signed on to become an officer. Near the end of officer's course, Alex wrote a poem. He called it, To Step Forward. Once in a while, as I progress towards the course's end, I feel a pang of fear. Today, I felt such fear. If the war comes, when the war comes, I will have to leave men to die. But those men were not men a short time ago. Some don't even shave yet. And yet, I will have to have the calm power 
to yell to them or to whisper, Kadima, and I will have to have the calm power to step forward myself. Alex was killed as he was trying to save his commanding officer in South Lebanon on his 25th birthday. Alex, there are so many questions I would like to ask you. You who learned Russian to visit refuseniks, what do you think of the Russian Aliyah? What do you think of the high-tech Israel that your brother Saul wrote about in Startup Nation? You who captured Jerusalem in your remarkable drawings, what do you think of Geshe HaMetalim and the Rakhavet HaKala, the bridge and the light railway? But there are no answers, just the quiet question that you ask each of us. For what would we have the calm power to step forward? For what will we say or yell or whisper Kadima? The question that Yom HaZikaron asks us is the oldest question in the Bible. Ayeka, where are you? Where are you in the story of the Jewish people? It's a miraculous story, perhaps never more miraculous than today. We have challenges and threats, but let us never forget that the worst day in Israel today, in our crazy but sovereign state, exceeds the most fantastic dreams of our grandparents. And Yom HaZikaron asks each of us, Ayeka, where are we in this story? And as old as the question is the answer. Hineni, here I am. I too am a part of this story. I too am ready to step forward. That is the truest remembrance. As the flag is about to rise, as we are poised here between remembrance and hope, I am proud to stand here as a child of this country, as a Chanich of Bnei Akiva, and as a representative of the sovereign state of Israel, to offer a prayer for the welfare and the safety of all of those who stand between us and our enemies, for the speedy recovery of those who have been injured, and for the safe return of every one of the missing and the captive. And to say to those who fell, Hinenu, here we are. We will play our part in the story. We too will step forward, as we say in Bnei Akiva, Belev Amitz of Ezrat Hashem, with a courageous heart and with help from above, to build a country, to nurture a society, to raise a generation who are worthy of those who we will never forget. Yehi Zichram Baruch.